If you've ever wondered what artists were doing when they peer over the top of their pencil, well, let me tell you, they're measuring. When an artist wants to be exact in their drawing, they measure. Measuring goes back as far as the Renaissance. It's been a part of the core curriculum of artists since the 18th century French ateliers and American art academies. Measuring is a way of attaining greater realism in drawing and painting. Using measuring, you can arrive at correct proportions, angles, and shapes. But it's also a great method of training the eye to see more realistically. Many art students use these methods when just starting out. It helps to develop the eye and teaches critical observation. But even experienced artists measure at times to solve difficult drawing problems. To be good at measuring requires some practice and with careful application the results can be quite exact. Today we practice several measuring methods including comparative, sight size, and triangulation. Each of these techniques has something to recommend it in terms of accuracy, speed, or both. You can even combine these various methods to suit your needs. The comparative method establishes a measuring unit with which all objects are measured. It's the traditional method known to most artists. Sight size is a long lost method that modern artists are rediscovering. In terms of accuracy, it can't be beat. Triangulation isn't unlike the GPS system you have in your car. It's not only a method of verifying correct measurements, it is, in itself, a simple but effective measuring technique. In this video, I'm going to show you these various techniques of measuring and how they can improve your drawing. Those of you with limited drawing experience will be surprised with the results you get when measuring. And even if you've been drawing for a while, these techniques will further improve your skills. To order your copy of Measuring Methods for Artists, visit our website.